Welcome to the Crypto Thunderdome Bots versus Brains. Crypto trading is the new frontier. It's a digital wild west out there where fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye. Full of dazzling promise and terrifying peril, the crypto market is as volatile as it is exciting. Like a get-rich-quick scheme that might work or spectacularly implode, the stakes are incredibly high. Human traders, real people with feelings, staring at confusing charts, consuming alarming amounts of coffee to stay alert. They hope, pray, refresh their screens and sometimes profit. Sometimes they face crushing losses. Crypto trading bots, lines of code, complex algorithms, trading for you while you sleep, promising to outsmart the market. They promise ultimate efficiency and guaranteed profits, but can they really deliver on such lofty promises? But do they deliver? That's the multi-billion dollar question that everyone wants answered. The showdown is set. Man versus machine, a battle of wits and algorithms. Human brain versus cold hard algorithm, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Instinctive guts versus processing gigabytes of data in milliseconds. Who is better at this crazy crypto game? The answer could change the future of trading. It's a fierce battle for digital dominance, where every second counts and more importantly for your digital dollars, the currency of the future. So let's put on our safety goggles and investigate. Welcome, brave souls, to the madness of the crypto world. The playbook, how bots and humans scheme for crypto glory. Human strategies, technical analysis, drawing lines on charts like financial connect the dots. Does it work? Some swear by it, others just swear. Fundamental analysis, figuring out if Doggle on Mars coin is useful or just hype. Humans read the news, gauge market sentiment, follow self-proclaimed gurus. Sometimes it's just a gut feeling. Bot strategies, they love rules, arbitrage. Buy low on one exchange, sell high on another, tiny profits, repeated thousands of times, market making, providing liquidity, setting buy and sell orders constantly. Bots are incredibly fast, trend following. If the price goes up, the bot buys. If it goes down, the bot sells. Bots don't panic, they just execute. Coldly, efficiently, flawlessly. Or so the glossy brochures claim, we shall see. It's certainly a choice. Scoreboard check, who's actually winning this digital gold rush? The world of cryptocurrency is like the Wild West, full of opportunities and pitfalls. Measuring success in crypto is hard. The market is volatile, and what works today might not work tomorrow. Everyone online claims to be a crypto genius. Social media is flooded with self-proclaimed experts. They all claim to have made millions. But how many of these stories are actually true? Usually from their parents' basement. The reality is often less glamorous. A word of advice, don't believe everything you read, especially not on Twitter. Social media can be misleading. So what about bot wins? Some big firms use them for high frequency trading. These bots can execute thousands of trades in a second. And yes, they make a lot of money, but it's not just the bots, it's the infrastructure behind them. But they also have supercomputers and teams of PhDs. It's a high stakes game with high barriers to entry. Your $99 guaranteed profit bot, it's not going to compete with that. Maybe not quite in the same league. Cheap bots often lead to quick losses. It might just automate losing your money. But faster. Be cautious with what you invest in. And human triumphs, yes, a few. There are success stories. Some people bought Bitcoin early and held on. They took a risk and it paid off. Michael Saylor of MicroStrategy, for example, he made a big bet on Bitcoin. But for every winner, there are thousands of losers. The odds are not in your favor. Most human day traders lose money. It's a tough market to navigate. And bots... A badly configured bot is a disaster, only risks and fees. So who's really winning this digital gold rush? The answer is complicated. Section four, the good, the bad, and the ugly of bots and humans. Humans, the good, adaptability, reacting to new information and black swan events, intuition. Sometimes it's even right. Humans, the bad, emotions, fear, greed, FOMO, panic selling, revenge trading. Humans are a glorious hot mess. Bots, the good, they work 24 sevenths, no sleep, no breaks, no complaints. Super fast execution, no emotional breakdowns. Bots, the ugly, bots are only as smart as their programming. A tiny bug in the code, catastrophic losses, unexpected market moves, utter chaos, they cannot think outside the digital box, and sometimes that box is on fire. Humans can react to weird, unexpected things. Bots just execute coldly, efficiently, flawlessly, or so the glossy brochures claim. Section five, ask the nerds, what do the experts think? Expert view number one, bots can be good for specific repetitive tasks like arbitrage or market making. They excel in speed and efficiency, executing trades faster than any human could. Professor Carol Alexander says so, but they need constant watching. 
Without human oversight, these bots can make costly mistakes. They are not set and forget money printers. You can't just let them run wild and expect profits to roll in. Expert view number two, humans are crucial. Their intuition and experience bring something to the table that bots simply can't replicate. Even Dr. Doom Nouriel Rubini says so. He emphasizes the importance of human judgment in navigating complex markets. Humans can spot subtle things bots miss. Context, nuance, market weirdness. These are elements that algorithms struggle to interpret. Expert view number three, a hybrid approach is best. Combining the strengths of both humans and bots can lead to better outcomes. Use bots for speed and discipline. They can handle the grunt work and execute trades with precision. Use humans for strategy and oversight. Their ability to adapt and think critically is invaluable, like a manager and a very fast intern. The manager provides direction while the intern handles the tasks quickly. The intern is great at tasks but needs guidance. Similarly, bots need human oversight to function optimally. So, what's the consensus? There isn't one. Opinions vary widely among experts. It all depends on your skill level, the bot's quality, and the market's mood. No simple answers here, just more questions and more risk. The debate continues. Section 6, and the winner is probably not who you expect. So, let's recap this epic battle. Bots, fast, tireless, no feelings. Humans, emotional, adaptable, sometimes clever. It's been quite the spectacle, a true digital circus with very real financial consequences. So, who wins this ultimate showdown? No clear knockout winner. Bots are better for some things. Humans might be better for others. High frequency, data heavy stuff. Bots navigating a bizarre market crash. Maybe a smart, calm human. If they don't panic, but who's the real winner? Probably the crypto exchanges. They always win with fees or the person selling you that miracle bot or perhaps chaos itself. Chaos loves the crypto market. The final verdict, this showdown isn't over. AI gets smarter, bots will evolve. If you're diving into crypto trading, good luck. You'll need it.